Oh my god, there it is. There it is. Hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream, and so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. What a beautiful day, folks. So we're going to be heading to Spoon because we are finally going to be replacing one of these lens covers. But look what an amazingly beautiful day it is today. It is spring. That means cherry blossoms are out. It could not be a more beautiful day. I'm just so incredibly happy to be alive. So. Let me take you guys with me today as we go to Spoon to, well, pick up a few things and to say hi to Jomoto-san. And we'll, while we're there, let's check out the Spoon F05. Let's go. I'm here with the N1. Such a cool little thing. I'm thinking about putting the spoon sticker in the back of the S over here. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a while. So these guys are Hi. from the Philippines. Thanks. Hello. What's your name? Darren, Darren, Darren. Moria. Moria. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much. Hey. All right. Nice yeah. car. Yeah, there it goes, there it goes. Thank you. So we're replacing this one because it got a bit damaged. Nice. Thank you for waiting. No problem. No worries. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect fit. Do you want to see a uh, FL5? Yes. Yes. Yes, that's all up there. Oh my god, there it is. There it is. Holy crap, it's so cool. It's super 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 cool. Old can you, school style. Can you, yeah, I, I saw that it's kind of inspired by the Civic, the EG. EG lit. and DC2 and EK. Yeah, uh, previous uh, spoon, uh, spoon Civic uh, carbon lip soil style. And what's the the point is like the vent at the bottom? Yeah, and uh, it has a, 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 a small, uh, small canard. Ah! Yeah, and uh, it makes a uh, downforce. Here, this, yeah. this shape, right? This, this shape, yes. So this is the prototype. Yeah. But is the shape finalized? Yeah, of course. So we will make a, a carbon fiber. Two versions or, no, or one, only version? one version? Yeah. Only one version. Yeah. Only carbon fiber. It's it's quite low with the yeah, this is a, a race truck setting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So well, of course it's a illegal uh, height. <laughs> Cannot pass the shaken. Okay, if it's the stock height mm -hmm. Can this lip clear shaken, do you think? I think so. But this this looks amazing actually. Yeah, yeah look, this height is a uh, race car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Too too low for the street news. And now there's like less than one finger gap, right? Okay, less than one finger. Very, very tight. Wow. What do you guys think? It's very, very aggressive. It definitely completes 
the FL5, one of the things that people complain the most about the FL5 is that there isn't a large lip. Mugen is coming out with one, but this is a very, very aggressive splitter that, or front lip, that flows nicely with the stock side skirt. But this is going to be carbon fiber. So maybe in the future, they will make a carbon fiber version of these side skirts. And let's take a look at the back of it here. They've got the swan neck wing installed, carbon fiber. I think I would like to put this on my car as well. So me and Masa can match with our carbon fiber wings. Yeah, incredibly cool. So when I ordered the FL5, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try to keep it mostly stock. But these companies keep coming up with these really cool parts that you just can't resist. You just can't. Oh, and it has the uh, the side mirror too. So basically complete. It's a, not yet. Just uh, prototype. Prototype. Mm. In the future, are you going to do like the? Because this is going to be carbon fiber, right? Yes. So maybe this can also have like a spoon version. Mm. I have no idea <laughs> right now. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's already have a uh, aero style. Yep. Uh, so uh, we have to make a uh, uh, plus alpha, uh, plus somehow. alpha, and a function. Yep. Yes, it's already <laughs> have a function. Yep. So if uh, we need more function, mm -hmm. uh, we will make. But uh, uh, I don't think uh, it's hard <laughs> to improve it, this yeah. design, right? Yeah. How about the the back? So this. Is a prototype. Yep. And uh, it's too uh, too much work. Uh, oh, uh, too much right downforce. Now. Yeah. So we will uh, need to adjust the uh, uh, downforce level. Ah. Yeah. So uh, we are continue to uh, testing in the race track. So it's too strong. Yeah. Too strong. Yeah. So uh, it's enough. Uh, but uh, uh, we need a more uh, uh, reduced uh, downforce and uh, <laughs> reduced the downforce. Yeah, and downforce and the uh, drag. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's uh, uh, it's enough to the maximum downforce right now. Yep. So we need a, a adjustment uh, uh, range. I see. Yeah, I see. So. Or just uh, mm, when we go uh, endurance race, uh, this wing is uh, maybe enough, but uh, 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 qualify or uh, time attack yep. need more uh, less downforce. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, endurance race needs a uh, uh, stable. Yep. But the uh, time attack and the uh, qualify needs a uh, more uh, uh, quick uh, moving. So for scuba, you need a different, different yeah. wing or different yeah. range. Interesting. I think many people are complaining about the bumper. Mm -hmm. The only bad part is this vent is not real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But the uh, tire house has a uh, 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 closed uh, our uh, uh, the rear uh, yeah rear section yes yeah. and uh, it has a, a big diffuser yep yeah so if it uh, we make a big hole uh, maybe more uh, make more drag and uh, oh. uh, cannot function for the uh, function the uh, diffuser I see yeah yeah in the FK8 there was the big hole yes. right. And the uh, really? FK8 doesn't have a, a diffuser. Yep. Yeah. So uh, just looks. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, this car uh, has a, a diffuser, and uh, yeah, under design is a all big change. Yep. So, uh, I think it's a uh, good design uh, yeah. to uh, run the race track. And the diffuser. This stock diffuser, it's really quite good, right? Yeah, so under the exhaust, and very big, and the makeup have a fin. All the way in, wow. Yeah, 
the design is really really good. Yeah, uh, so many function level design. Yeah, it's difficult to improve it. Yeah. Is there anything you want to improve for the the aerodynamic design? We have a plan of a, a more cooling bumper uh, or front grill and uh, uh, bonnet and uh, under uh, design. How about the wide fender? Mm. Like for example, Mugen's already made the super wide fender. Yeah, but uh, uh, we don't need a wide fender right now. Yeah. Yeah. So. This car already have a, a, a good potential, yeah, so we we have never uh, get a, a, a modified the uh, ECU. Yep. So uh, stock engine, but uh, good rough time in the Tsukuba circuit. Compared to FK8, can you tell us about like the potential of this yeah. car? Yeah, of course. So it's a same engine, same transmission, uh, but uh, this chassis is a uh, next generation. Uh, it's kind of like a, a EG and a EK. Same engine, but <laughs> I next see. generation for chassis is very good uh, for more stiff and the suspension is more uh, easy to move and uh, this car has a uh, more wide. Oh. So tread is more wide. And the tire size is a uh, stock tire size is uh, two six five. It's huge. Yeah. So uh, yeah, FK8 is two forty five, yeah. right? Increase at twenty millimeter, and uh, more wide. Big difference. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, cornering uh, uh, force is a uh, more uh, increase. Yep. So of course this car is uh, my faster than uh, FK8. Yeah. And it's wider and lower too, right? Yes. So for for cooling. Yeah. What are you thinking about? It's uh, uh, better than FK8, yeah. but uh, still have a uh, 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 green program. Mm -hmm. So yeah. for the for the circuit, yes. Yeah. Uh, so too much heat, and uh, uh, we tested in uh, January, February, <laughs> but uh, uh, water temperature is uh, so high. Ah, yeah. I see. Uh, so. Uh, Mm, for future, uh, for for the summer, yeah, <laughs> should be <laughs> so difficult to. Yeah, it's gonna be harder. Yeah. So, are you planning to make a different hood? Yeah. How about the roof? Maybe carbon roof. <laughs> How can roof? Mm, yeah, of course, carbon roof is uh, uh, good for the uh, stability. But uh, mm, this material is strong. No, or, or, or like already lighter. Oh, yeah, very, very thin. I see. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, of course, uh, carbon fiber more light, but uh, this steel is very thin. Oh, and, uh, next generation steel. So should be. Two or three kilograms uh, degrees uh, weight. Oh, but, uh, wow. Yeah, need more shape up. Ah, I see. <laughs> and Too heavy in this car. Really? Yeah. Uh, more heavy than FK8, yeah. right? Yeah. So, 1,400. Mm -hmm. It's uh, compared to the old like Civic, like EG, <laughs> EK, <laughs> it's, it's like a different yeah, different car. Very different, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so, oh, mm, we are uh, a little bit old age, <laughs> <laughs> so we know the uh, EG, EK, yeah. and uh, our image is a Civic is a small car, but yep. the current Civic is a uh, uh, bigger than uh, old one. Yeah, but. The, this is a current Civic, so we have to uh, make a fun uh, for the current Civic. Yep. It's like evolution, so we need yeah. to change our thinking. Yeah, so uh, we, uh, we have to change our mind. Can we see the interior? Yeah. So it looks yeah. like it has the spoon. 
carbon bucket or Kevlar. So the spoon Momo steering wheel is installed as well as this bracket for the audio controls. Spoon Kevlar seat as well, as well as the uh, four point sparkle harness. And you can see how it's mounted to the back. It's mounted to here. If there's one qualm I have with the FL5, it's the fact that the center is taken up by a cup holder and it's not a five seater. Kind of strange, especially considering the FL1 is actually a five seater. It's almost worth switching out the entire rear seats for a five seater. Interior looks great on these cars. It's a huge step up compared to the previous generation. Little touches like the LED lighting are really nice. And I really like how the door handles are really solid, like cast um, aluminum through metal. Very, very nice, very solid. Over here as well, a lot of people don't realize this is actually real aluminum. So quality is off the charts on this car. If only this grill was real aluminum as well. I think it's it's a gunmetal painted plastic, but it is still really nice. I cannot wait to drive this thing. This thing is an absolute beast. It has really, really come together. You know, when I first saw the car released, I wasn't sure if it would be possible to improve upon it, but somehow they've, Spoon has managed to inject some of that JDM goodness in just the right amounts, just the right places, just the right proportions. So a car that is actually quite large, looks very, very aggressive, looks like it just slips through the air and I love this setup. I absolutely love it. It looks incredible. All right guys, obviously we can't take the car outside of the shop right now, but maybe we can start it up so we can hear what the N1 exhaust sounds like on the Spoon FL5. You guys ready? Let's go ask. Jump with the sun. Can we, can we start the car? This car? Yeah. Of course. Nice. Okay. So I'm gonna put the camera here. And uh, let's start her up. One more time. Can we hear how it sounds inside with the, with the door closed? Like many people complain, it's too quiet. Mm, stock version. Yeah, but the... Super good. Wow. That sounds really, 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 really good. That sounds super good. Really aggressive. Maybe it can't pass the shot can, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, it, it cannot. Uh, yeah, it can. It can? Yeah, so it can. it's a, a, a Japanese regulation uh, exhaust. Wow. Yeah. So, not so loud. It's it's uh it's quite loud. <laughs> I think it's chodoi. It's really good for like a car enthusiast. That's like the sound that you want to hear in yeah. a sports car. Yeah. Let's see the engine as well. Wow. 
Wow, look at that. It looks much, it looks much better with no head cover. Mm, I think so. <laughs> that looks great. And this piece is <laughs> wrapped in some heat soaking material. Yeah. And there we have a. So oh, everywhere. A so many air, air heat oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, turbocharged engines run really hot. So now the tuning for Honda is not yet finished, right? Uh, maybe we will return soon. Yeah. What is the goal? So about 340 or 380? It should be uh, 360 mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we will try to uh, change the power charger gear ratio. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, maximum is uh, 400. Mm -hmm. 400 and uh, change the final gear. How much is safe for cost? I, I think. Sixty. Uh, so we have to, uh, uh, grow, uh, grow the engine. Yeah. yeah. So we need to check the, the limit. limit. Yeah. yeah. The way that you figure out how much power the engine can hold is by blowing it. That's crazy. Guys, I've been sitting here for like fifteen minutes, twenty really, just staring at this car, and I think that's. So you can start staring at it too here. I, I think that's the real sign when you are really truly passionate about a car this car just picks all the boxes stock but now like this i just i'm mind blown how good it looks fantastic so the front is like 265 yeah and if you put like 285 tires you know you can get like like more and more wide traction wide tire yeah so front wheel drive car uh, needs a uh, more wide tire for the front uh, it's a easy way it's not uh, our way and uh, yeah it's a uh, wide tire and a uh, high boost and the uh, big wing and the big splitter is a easy way to increase the lap time but uh, it's not spoon style yeah, spoon style is uh, more simple and uh, comfortable and uh, mm, fun to drive. Mm -hmm. Like also good for street? Yeah. yeah. And uh, endurance race and uh, make a relax. And uh, of course, we can make a more aggressive car, but it's not now. <laughs> Maybe uh, in the future or something. Yeah, of course. So, uh, yeah, this is a uh, stage one. Uh, so to make us uh, so many items, and then uh, we will try to get a uh, limit this car. Yeah. So maybe stage one is for the customer who wants to keep like the stock body, yeah. uh, stock size, yeah. and still keep it comfortable for the mm -hmm. street. Yeah, street press. <laughs> yeah, that's like most people. I think like 80, 85 percent of the people. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, the concept is the same concept that always been since like this generation, EK and yeah, S two thousand, EG. EG. Yep. Of course, uh, FL one and uh, S two thousand. Yeah. Whole car. Total, total package. Yes. All right, guys. I'm back in the interior of the iPhone 5. We'll just be here a few more minutes, and then I'm gonna take off. But one thing I just really wanted to say was the quality of this car. The overall quality of the iPhone 5 is ridiculously high. I'm just gonna say it now. I'm gonna call it. I think overall the iPhone 5 is the best JDM car of this generation. I think it's better than the GR86, sorry, 86 owners, the new Z, sorry, Z owners, the new Supra, sorry, BMW owners. The only only flaw is just like, the rear middle seat there. I just wish this was a five seater. Then this could be like the only car that you need. So check it out, we got some replacement stickers for the front bumper. So let's go ahead and put these on. Let's go ahead and put that on here. Wow. 
So, actually, one last thing, Jumbo does to help me out with the brake duct got disconnected over here. This is actually a brake duct. It's super cool because it's an integrated design. This, you can see, the piping is here, and it feeds air into that tube over here so it can cool your brakes uh, during hard track use. So, this side is disconnected, or it might have gotten disconnected. Not, not exactly sure what happened, but what we're gonna try to do is we are going to just go ahead and fit that back. So on the track day this weekend, if I end up taking this car, then we'll be able to run this car on the track. And you can see they made a full wide splitter, runs all the way to each end, covers the bumper entirely. So we're just gonna remove the screws and drop the splitter. Okay, we got the bottom off. The cool thing is the spoon bumper actually comes with a carbon under tray and that goes on top of my splitter. This is actually just made from ACB, aluminum composite board. And from here, we're just going to fit it back here. There you go. And you can see we're doing the work. From this, there's another vent here on the side of the bumper, really cool. All right, all done. Yep. The duct is now there, nice and nice and set. This is the coolest thing about this bumper, aside from the, the fog light, is that it's highly functional. It has a card, it has the fog light, uh, fog light and the vent. The vent is really important, right? And uh, yeah. for brake vents for this car. It's a safety device. Yes. So for people asking me, this is this the splitter. This is actually made from aluminum composite board and it's been wrapped in this carbon skin. So this material is super light, very strong and very cheap. So it's a perfect splitter material. All done. Finally, it's back. It looks absolutely perfect. Paint job is even better now than it used to be. Wow, what a car. And finally, the headlights are perfect as well. I love it. All right guys, so I'm gonna take off and I just wanna say thank you as always to Joe Matasan for letting us take a look at all the cool cars here at Spoon Headquarters here at Type 1. Um, they're getting a lot of visitors visiting because Japan has opened up. So do you have any message for everyone who's coming to visit Japan these oh, days? Oh yeah, uh, Japan is uh, fully recovery right now. So uh, everybody please come here and uh, please enjoy uh, Japan and uh, visiting the Spoon and Type 1. Awesome. Well, you guys heard it from the man folks. Come check it out and I might be here because I'm often here just hanging out. and. Uh, with that, we'll leave it. We'll end this video here. So thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.